Bitcoin's pumping, stocks are pumping, and even gold is pumping. But is it time to buy Bitcoin right now? We're going to go ahead and talk about that and key levels that I'm watching when it comes to Bitcoin being bullish. Keep watching. Hey, welcome to Block Roots. I am Josh, and as always, on behalf of my co-founder, Kenner and Clark, who you'll see on the YouTube channel as well, we just both wanted to say welcome and thanks for being here. You know, each and every week we try to give you guys some up-to-date, really insightful technical analysis. And so we're traders as well. We've been doing this for a long while, so hopefully that you find it helpful. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do it below. And then also to leave a comment, because uh, each and every week we choose one uh, person who comments on our videos, who engages with our community, of course. And we randomly select that person and win $100 of Bitcoin. And that's going to happen in a couple of days on the next video. So make sure that you leave a comment on today's video and then on Monday's video. And then we'll make sure to put you in that drawing for that giveaway. So if you like non-sensational technical analysis, you're in the right place. Nothing is financial advice. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the Bitcoin chart. We're going to look at key price levels. But before we even do that, I mean, really important as far as when it comes to Bitcoin and keeping your crypto assets safe are hard wallets. Now, we've even talked about security in a few videos ago when it comes to SIM swapping. And today, I want to let you know about a product called Engrave. If you've yet to see Engrave, the Engrave Zero, you need to check this out. And I'm telling you right now, this is some pretty cool stuff. So as far as security goes, it's a huge deal to us, as I just said, right? Many people have gotten hacked in the past. I personally know multiple people who've gotten hacked and lost tens of thousands of dollars worth of Bitcoin and crypto assets. Now, as awful as that is, we're pretty excited, though, about new products that are coming out to secure and protect people as far as crypto assets. And so specifically, we have partnered up with Engrave as they finish up this week with their initial campaign. And your biggest question is, why am I sharing this with you? Is this just another hard wallet? And why not just go out and grab a Ledger or a Trezor or some of the other popular hard wallets? And we actually have nothing against that. I actually have a Ledger myself. And that's primarily those types of wallets are if you only hold a, a few hundred dollars worth of crypto, maybe one Bitcoin. But if you hold a few thousand dollars worth of crypto assets or feel like even a few hundred dollars is substantial amount for you uh, or even half a Bitcoin, then you likely want to look at a hard wallet that's even more secure against hacking and phishing scams when it comes to keeping your crypto assets safe. And I'm going to go ahead and drop the link below as far as that goes so you can check it out yourself. Just know that if you want part of the Engrave initial campaign, it's only available for the next 35 hours for 30% off. So as you can see on the screen, Engrave has already sold close to 1,200 hard wallets right now. And there's a big reason why they've already sold 1,200 is because it's a pretty cool product. So for this hard wallet, unlike a lot of the other hard wallets, the Engrave Zero is actually 100% offline, okay? And so your secret keys are generated offline and never exposed. And as you can see in the picture right here, the only way to connect to the Engrave Zero is via QR codes that you scan. So to this day, of course, the, the by far the safest way to prevent hackers from stealing your assets is using this type of technology. And as you can see here in the photo, it's super easy to use. You just basically initiate a transaction, scan a request, verify and sign, scan again, and then send to the blockchain. So it's not complicated at all. Yet it's by far the safest method as far as keeping your assets safe, even though a lot of other hard wallets don't do this, at least not offline. Now again, you can read a lot about this below on your own, but again, giving a quick overview is always the best. And a big thing about if you get anything out of this, just know that Engrave was just awarded uh, the highest security certification, the EAL7, which makes it even more secure than the Ledger Nano, even the iPhone, to make it the most secure crypto wallet that you can find in the entire industry. So also the Zero, it's 100% it's tamper-proof, as you see here in the photo, so against physical attacks. You don't have to worry about somebody stealing that and trying to break it open. So you can also register your fingerprint and it's a touch screen on top of that. And along with you know having a radically improved key generation process that you can read right here. If that doesn't impress you at all, just know that their advisor is Jean-Jacques, who was a second reference in the Bitcoin paper. So they have world-renowned cryptographers and professors as advisors. And probably the most important question here is like, what coins does it even support? And of course, it, it supports Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, 
really almost every coin out there, uh, including all the other ERC20 tokens as well. Also know that along with this, you can also purchase this along with your hard wallet, is their stainless steel graphene, which you can actually back up your private keys. It's 100% fireproof, it's stainless steel. If someone physically steals your hard wallet, you have a backup with this. And so again, like I said, it's tamper proof. They can't steal your keys, but you're gonna have this backup. They'll be able to access your funds without using like a paper wallet backup, which of course those can easily get destroyed and you know not going to rely on a paper backup to secure thousands of dollars worth of digital assets so as i said earlier this is actually through indiegogo and this ends in 35 hours 1200 backers i'm going to leave the links below i encourage you if you have any questions about this just go ahead and jump on here and click click the frequently asked questions which the team actually answers you can also follow engrave official uh, on twitter as well and go ahead and ask them questions again to secure tens of thousands or thousands of dollars worth of digital assets, you wanna pay for a premium product that you know is gonna outlast um, other hard wallets that are made of plastic that aren't as secure as this. So again, check out the engrave, it's pretty impressive. So with Bitcoin, not only do we wanna keep our Bitcoin safe, but we also want to see the price go up. So we'll go ahead and look at the Bitcoin chart right now. So this is the four hour chart, and as you see that Bitcoin has pumped from around 9,000 up to as high as over 9,300 or so close to that. We recently had a bottom of under $9,000, but then again have bounced back up. And so looking at this chart, we're still in this range between 8,500 to 10,000, okay? And so this is still the range that we're watching. We know that Bitcoin has been rather slow over the past few weeks. So if you've seen this chart below, we'll continue to talk about it at least until there's a breakout here soon. And if you look closely, um, here is the mid-range current support or actually resistance right now because price is underneath. The price is sitting right at the mid-range of this range between 10,000 and 8,500. So this has been a key level to watch for a while. And I've said if Bitcoin can close above this area, I think that it has the ability to move on up at least up to the previous high. If it does not close above that, it's not push up it, you know, above on the four hour um, or the daily chart, I do believe that price will make its way back down. Now, one thing that you may be asking is, hey, well, stocks are pumping, right? So why will Bitcoin continue to pump along with stocks? Because as far as the stock market goes, it has continued to trend on up. If I go ahead and turn on some of the moving averages, you're gonna to notice too that price has held above basically the 200 day moving average that tends to be bullish. And so, yes, we can continue to see the stock market move on up, especially with the Federal Reserve continuing to pump out more and more money. But it's important to also know that Bitcoin and stocks are not 100% correlated, okay? And so if you look here at the coin metrics chart, this is actually the Bitcoin to S&P uh, correlation here. And so what you're gonna notice is that over the course of all time, from 2004 all the way to almost 2020, Bitcoin had a correlation that was sometimes negative, that, that was around zero. It really wasn't very much at all until the big black swan event. And after that has happened, we see now that Bitcoin has been relatively moderately correlated around 0 0.4 or so, maybe up to 0 0.5. But that's it. So there's a moderate correlation. It's not a one-to-one -one correlation, meaning that if the stocks go up, that Bitcoin has to go up 100%. It's also not negatively correlated, meaning that if stocks go up, Bitcoin has to go down. There tends to be kind of a moderate correlation kind of back and forth. So it's important to know that because we don't want to put all eggs in one basket, all on one indicator. And I'm not going to completely rely on my Bitcoin analysis based on what the stock market does. But I will tell you right now, if the stock market does push to all new highs again with the stock index, the S&P 500, I do expect that Bitcoin is gonna find a way up back over 10,000 and continue to trend on up to 11, $12,000. But with so much uncertainty in the world, with the virus to not be named, with the economy and everything else, I'm not gonna necessarily say that the stock market is gonna continue to move on up just with all the world events going on, right? There's risk there. And so if we look at the current trend along with the lower highs, right, as you see here on the four hour chart, you know, that is still the trend. And then until the trend changes, I'm going to continue to trade with the trend because the trend is to your friend until it's not the trend anymore. And what's gonna happen for that to change is to break above this area, the past uh, recent high, 
it, which is over $9,700. And so Bitcoin price has to move on up and close above that area for me to start to switch my bias. Uh, personally, for me as a trader, I'm looking to actually see if price will continue with this lower high trend. And so if you look here on the Femex chart where we do trade here at Block Roots, you can see that I have potential staggered entries to short Bitcoin as it moves on back up to around $9,600. Now, naturally, if price pushes on up above $9,700, I'm going to have a stop loss in place to make sure to get out to, to lose very little. But until proven otherwise, again, you have to trade what the chart gives you. And so far, we've seen really a lack of follow through when it comes to Bitcoin and just really lower highs, which doesn't really excite me by any means to be bullish at this time until it breaks above 9,700. Now, another thing that we can look at too is the uh, Bitcoin liquidation level chart. And so as we look at the liquidation levels, uh, what we're doing is we're seeing where large players can be liquidated uh, from their high leverage, longer short positions. Now, as far as the short positions go, you're going to notice that they go on up uh, to as high as 9,600. And so keep an eye on out because I do believe, again, that's as high as I believe that Bitcoin can go between uh, before a potential uh, downwards turn. But now, recently, in the last few hours, we've seen that there have been a lot, a lot with these big circles here, a lot of uh, larger um, long entries put back into the market. And so as far as traders go, and really when I see that, whenever you see anybody put a, a lot of money into these really high leverage positions, that's typically where price wants to go to liquidate and knock those big players out of their position. So I'm even looking right now at a potential pullback when before I was looking at a move on up. A lot of people are looking overhead right now, but price could certainly move on back down, wick down, and liquidate these positions before moving on back up. So that's something that you really want to pay attention to when it comes to any potential moves back down. And this is a key, right? If it's a quick wick down, what that means is it's only price is just moving on down to liquidate positions and then it's going to continue to move on up, grab that liquidity and push on up. If it slowly makes its way down, we could possibly see a continuation to the downside and price not even make its way back up as far as the 94, 95, or 9600 dollars level that a lot of people are looking at right now. Now, as I said earlier here on the four hour chart, we're still at the mid-range area. So price was not able to close above. And now what I'm looking at is for price to make its way back down, potentially to liquidate, liquidate those positions. And if price does go back down here below 9130 or so or 9100, if price makes it way, its way back down here, closes on down below this, I do believe that we're going to see continuation on back down here to $8,900. That being retested, we could, we could then see price move on back down to 8500s. And again, there's no reason why price can't just drop from here because again, that is still a lower high on the trend and it doesn't have to necessarily move on up before it pushes down when there's a lot of shorts or excuse me, a lot of longs that can liquidate on the way down. But yeah, overall, it's kind of been a boring market, if you ask me. I know a lot of you guys think the same way. And even Karen Clark pointed this out here over on Twitter, saying that the lowest ATR, average true range value across time frames, all time frames, in the past six months. So Bitcoin is setting up for something big. And again, the ATR is just a volatility indicator. It's at lows right now. And so meaning that we haven't really had any volatility. But if you know anything about volatility, Basically, lack of volatility leads to major volatility. So in the coming weeks, we could get really excited by seeing some big moves. So again, keep your eyes out on that due to the ATR indicator and other volatility indicators. The bottom line, 9,700 is the area that you want to see Bitcoin break right here. Okay, 9,700. You want to see uh, cr price close above that. And then I think we see continue to see a uh, push bond up to 10K. And I think a break above that and it keeps going. If we do see price drop below 9130s and 9100, I think we're going to see 8900. If it doesn't bounce there, then we're going to see 8500s. And again, I do believe if we go and test 8500, that it's likely to continue to break on down. So whichever way it tends to move, I feel like there's going to be continuation of that move due to the lack of volatility in a big pressure of selling or buying. But that's really it, right? So when it comes to the market, make sure that you're watching some of these key levels that we're talking about right here. 
And again, uh, be on the lookout for more volatility this week. And so if you guys want to stay informed each and every week with more market updates and more market news, make sure to subscribe below if you're not already subscribed. Uh, and we'll get you placed for $100 uh, in, in, in that $100 giveaway if you do leave a comment below. So make sure that you leave a comment and engage with the video. In a couple of days, we're going to draw again for the $100 of Bitcoin. And again, check out the Engrave Zero and be one of the first to own this with 30% off, just only less than two days away from that being over and done. And so if you want the most secure wallet, check it out. You met the team, they're fantastic. So I think you're gonna be really impressed with what you find there. Anyways, guys, with that said, this is Josh. Keep an eye out on the Bitcoin market. I hope that uh, everybody here has a great day. Make sure to stay healthy. Uh, go out and enjoy the weather, and as always, trade effectively, and we'll see you guys soon.